Hi there. Tonight I'm going to talk about two music videos that are both filled to the brim with bigotry. These videos are very different from each other in some ways and very similar in others. They have been receiving very different critique. One song is really loved by people in general and especially by the group targeted by the bigotry because it is seen as satire. The other song is very criticized, very hated, especially by people in the targeted group and the band themselves say that it was meant as a joke, that they didn't mean it that way. In both videos we have this singer persona who is established to be not to be relied upon at all for the audience who just keeps spouting all this bigotry. Um, I think that one of these videos is totally awesome while the other is a complete failure but I'm not going to tell you yet whether it is the same video that have been loved by so many that I like and the one that people hate that I dislike as well or if it's the other way around I'm not going to tell you that just yet and I'm not going to tell you which one is which one but one video is known as blame the gays or maybe the gays fault. It depends on translation because this is a Swedish song. The singer character is a Christian fundamentalist who is scapegoating the Christians. No, he's scapegoating gay people. He claimed that everything that is wrong in the world is caused by or at least can be blamed upon gay men. The other video is called Asian Girls with a Z at the end. And in this case it's not homophobia, instead it is racist sexism. We the idea of the video is rather cool in a way. We have these little, little, tiny white men sitting in a little cage, singing to an Asian woman who is at least 50 time, times their height. And they are singing about how they possess her and are superior to her and blah 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 and they very obviously don't understand that they are the ones who are small and are in a cage. So uh, the satire is rather blatant in that way. Um, the homophobia video doesn't use blatant visual effects like that. There are two versions of this video. One studio version and one at the big public event. Um, in the studio version they have this debate program where the pastor is participating as an expert and in the in the public event version, they, he and his congregation are showing up as 
protesters. We don't give we don't get any visual clues that these people are not to be sympathized with. Um, however, we do get it really strongly in a short speech held by the pastor before he begins to sing. In the public event version, he goes on a little rant um, about how he thinks the public event doesn't have standards. And he wants standards, standards, standards. We want so high standards, it becomes double standards. Yeah. By that point, it should be obvious to everybody that this is satire. A real fundamentalist would not claim the moral high ground by demanding double standards. That's really freaking obvious. Um, the studio version is much more subtle, but it's quite obvious there as well. In my opinion, it's really obvious in all three videos. These two videos of Bögerlands fail, and Blame the Gays, or whatever you want to call it in English, and the other video, Asian Girls. In the studio version of Blame the Gays, um, this pastor starts singing, start explaining that, well, uh, in this world it's easy to lose faith, uh, but I'm going to give you some consolation that it's, it's not our fault that everything is bad, it's their fault, it's the gays' fault, not ours. So, not I think this one is the least obvious of the three. Uh, anyway, in this particular regard, I think they all rock. I mean, the lyrics are 100% bigotry. There's nothing good or pleasant or acceptable about them. And therefore, it needs to be really friggin' obvious, not only that it is satire, but where the satire is aimed. Um, I think Blame the Gays make an excellent job of this. It is clear to everybody that it is satire. Um, by the way, in the studio version that was less obvious, it was as a part of a satire program, thus make it totally clear that it was satire. And they also make it very clear that the problem is that these Christian fundamentalists, as well as other fundamentalists, are bigoted. It's not about gay people, and it's not about religion as such. It's about people being bigoted in the name of religion. Um, by the way, the pastor claims that the Bible says that everything should be blamed on the gays. But he clarifies that he don't really know uh, what chapter or part or uh, whatever, but somewhere in the Bible it must say so. <laughs> and this is a very good parallel, in my opinion, about how fundamentalism often work. Now, for Asian girls, there are two problems. First of all, the visual clue that it is satire is not obvious to everybody. A lot of people missed that it is satire at all. And I mean, to me it's obvious, but not to everybody. 
I mean, personally, I find it brilliant with these small people not even understanding that they are small and in a cage, singing to a much larger person about how they are obviously superior to her. To me, that's brilliant satire, but a lot of people don't get that. And the problem when you make satire about prejudice and bigotry and such, it is that the people who are prone to the kind of categorism, as I call it, that you make parody of, are also very likely to don't understand satire at all. There's something called post law that you can't really distinguish between extremism and satire because no matter how extreme you make it, there will be people who are exactly like that for real and vice versa. If you're extreme enough, there will be people who have made a parody that is just like you. So it's really hard to tell the difference. So they really should have made it very clear in the lyrics as well that it was satire, not only in the video. Making the whole thing over the top, making the lyrics over the top is not enough. They should have made some really anvilicious, um, I mean, dropping a fucking anvil, uh, made it really clear to everybody that hello, this is satire, come on, please understand that this is satire. They really should have been more overly clear when they go to, to a public audience like this. Uh, I mean, it was a regular music video, not a satire program or such. So this is the first problem with the video, Asian Girls. And the second problem is that it is not so clear where the satire is aimed. It can be aimed, and I personally think it is intended to be aimed, at entitled bastards. Uh, white guys who think they are so fucking awesome just because they are male and because they are white, and think that they have a right to look down on other people and objectify them in a really mean and hurtful way. Um, I hope it's aimed that way, but it could also be aimed the other way around. We have this whole thing, male hypo-agency. Yeah, men who... Uh, hypo-agency is to diminish one's own agency, to pretend to be a victim who really can't do anything about their situation. And sadly, a lot of men do this a lot. It's like, oh, but I can't help that I get horny. I'm a man. I can't help how I handle my horniness. I'm a man. I can't help how I treat people. I'm a man. I can't help it. I was born male. It's not my fault. And no, it is not your fault that you're male. It is not your fault that you are a human being. But it is your responsibility how you handle it. And sadly, there are quite a few men who uh, would really go for this bullshit, uh, treat women demeaning like in this song, and then go, but, oh, but I'm so small and you are so big, you have all the power, we're living in a feminist society, blah, 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 blah. Uh, who would use the kind of 
metaphor that the video is using visually, but use it not to disqualify their racist, sexist argument, but instead disqualifying their own responsibility for it. It's like, but oh, but I can't help that I'm spouting racist, sexist bullshit. I'm a man. We men do that sort of things. <sighs> Sorry, I just get so disgusted by that kind of attitude. So, this is the second failure of the video Asian Girls. And yes, this second video is the one that I personally don't like. I think they failed very much. And it is the one that a lot of people are upset with. I saw some YouTube video some uh, some youtube videos various asian women who was very upset by this video and i can totally understand that i mean um it's not enough to say that ah oh, but you should have seen that it was satire it doesn't work that way uh, if people don't get that it's satire then you have been not subtle enough with the satire and even if they would have understood that you meant the satire, they had very good reason to not be clear about which way the satire was aimed. And then it still looks like bigotry. Um, blame the gays, on the other hand. I mean, it's 100% homophobia, but it is played at pride parades and if you look carefully in the public event version of the video you see rainbow flags people waving uh, rainbow flags and sharing at these fake homophobes you see the public event is a real event not a part of the stockholm pride festival but held in the same week so it was seen as a Pride Week event. I'm going to link all three videos and well in the cases of the Swedish Swedish song I'm going to find versions with subtitles and link those. I hope you enjoy them and that's all I have to say for now. Live long and prosper.